I'm Jeff Allen, founder, owner of Cookie Society. This is my wife, Marissa Allen, other, other founder, founder. <laughs> owner as well. Started this company 2018. She obviously made some of the best cookies that I've ever had in my life. But once I started taking them to the locker room when I was playing with the Houston Texans, and um, coaches and teammates and other people outside of our household were get, was giving her validation, um, that's when we decided to make a business out of it. So what were your first steps? We started online. It felt very natural. I did food blogging before this. And so I had a pretty big audience there and I knew that e-commerce was really growing. And so we were one of the first to move into the online like bakery space. Um, and so we started making cookies, started shipping them and people started wanting them locally. Majority of our customers were outside of the Dallas area. And so we're like, okay, we need to do something to capture this local audience that we have. So we started catering and Jeff was still playing. He was still active for two seasons um, while we were doing that. So I was doing pop-ups. I was really doing anything I could to get cookies in people's hands. Tell me about your food blogging business because believe it or not, even for selling cookies, content is critical. We really use the blog to funnel traffic to the website. And so a lot of people, once you trust me, if you've tried a recipe, you're like, wait, that turned out really well. Her cookies are probably good. And so it's really helped establish that trust. Brilliant. So, because effectively that's what you're in. When you're selling cookies online, you're in the trust business because when you place that order, nobody knows what those cookies taste like, so they trust you. And having that content is critical. Are you continuing to try to grow your audience there? And that's kind of where my questions for you come in is, our online's doing great, as we've touched on. Online is huge and there's infinite customers online. Um, but we also are, incredibly busy in our store. And so we're really trying to figure out where do we put our money? Natural inclination is more stores, right? Do we franchise? Our cookies are so great. Everybody tells us they love our cookies. Do we go out and franchise? Do we license it? Do we open a store? The first thing I would focus you on is your catering and corporate accounts. Get somebody who all they do is focus on corporate sales. Okay. Bring them in, let them work the store, let them get the feel for the vibe of the store and who you guys are and then send them out. They're gonna go out and find customers yeah. in somehow, some way, and that'll be new business that allows you to scale the most quickly. Um, and then if you're also blogging, you can even blog about you know, why you're such a great corporate gift. There's always a reason to give cookies, right? Yeah. Cookies cure everything. Yeah, and yeah, there, see, there's your tagline for your corporate sales. <laughs> cookies cure Thank everything. You for that. Yeah, Thank sell. you, I appreciate you it. You know, one of the things that keeps us up is just trusting our processes, um, believing that what we have in place is sustainable and that we can grow at a consistent rate and a safe rate. You you go through that thought process where you question yourself. That's natural, right? And when you question yourself, you try to visualize how big you can be because there's got to be a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow for all this work. But you got to stay the course, right? You can't, you can't rush. The biggest mistake you can make is going too fast. Yeah, I know you're saying, you know, slow down and like stay the course. How do you map out five years then? Because we always talk about where do you want to be in five years? How do you map that out? And then what are, how do you make decisions as to what to do day over day to get there? Yeah. You've got to make sure that all the pieces are working together and that you trust the whole, the mechanism of all of it. You've got it with one store, get it right with a second store. Okay. We got it right. The second store, get it right in the third store. Okay. Because you know, you don't benefit by rushing. One of the things that I think we're putting pressure on ourselves because we're so competitive yeah. because of our sports backgrounds and then seeing our competitors making moves on the market that we're in and growing, like it, it just makes us want to catch up. This is your baby. This is your, your dream. And don't let people rush you. In basketball, the players that play at their own pace, the quarterbacks that play at their own pace and see the field quickly, you know, and know what to do based off of what's happening in front of them. Those are the players that are the most successful. Business is the exact same thing. Given my, my former career being a pro athlete, being in the NFL, how do I leverage that relationship into getting to stadiums and different venues where we're selling our cookies? I would go to the Texans first, since you know them, and basically say, okay, who's in charge? They already know your cookies, right? Because you've been giving them to them for several years. Yeah. And then I would potentially guilt the hell out of them, say, come on now, <laughs> right? And you, you're going to use your influence to help me out. <laughs> Because once you get in that first one, that's the key. And if it does well, chances are whoever's running the F&B for um, the stadium down there, they're also running it for other stadiums as well. And if you can show results there, then you can expand to others. The beautiful thing that you guys have going for you is that 
lots of people can talk about how good a product is, but the proof is in the sales. When people are buying them and coming back, that tells you the product is good. Selling is about helping. Selling is when you know you have a great product and you know somebody's going to be hungry and have a sweet tooth. You are helping somebody. You are doing them a favor by letting them buy your cookies. Always remember that. Thank you. Thank that's you for dope. that. That was really that's dope. No, that's awesome. Yeah. We really appreciate that. That kind of um, clears things up yeah, for us. <laughs> it just made it much more of an obvious kind of choice. Because like you said, you hear voices. And we're really just trying to stay the course. And what we've been doing has been working. And so we want to continue to do what we're doing well without diluting the quality of the product, but growing so we can offer our cookies to more people. The best position to be in is, hey, our business is great, we're making money, we're ready to expand, as opposed to, I'm not making money and maybe by expanding I can get enough volume to make money. You guys are in a great spot. We appreciate everyone, thank you, Mark. As long as you don't rush, you guys are gonna crush it.